Welcome to the Mason and Associates YouTube channel. I'm John Mason, president of Mason and Associates and certified financial planner. I personally have been specializing with federal employees um, doing comprehensive financial planning for over a decade now. Uh, my career began back in 2010 and we're doing this channel because we can't serve everybody in the country and we want to make sure that the federal employees out there have a reliable place to go to get information that not many are talking about. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about why you should not close thrift savings plan. Don't do it. Don't close it. Now, caveats. Eventually, maybe we can close TSP, but many of you are retiring somewhere around MRA, which is your minimum retirement age at 57, to maybe 62. Well, now with the recent legislation, we don't even have required minimum distributions until many of you reach age 75. So don't close TSP the second you retire. Don't confuse this video with don't take money out of TSP. Don't confuse this topic with don't spend the money that you work so hard to accumulate and enjoy. What we believe is that the thrift savings plan is a really good accumulation vehicle, but it's not the best distribution vehicle. So what you can do is you can go to our podcast, Federal Employee Financial Planning Podcast, episodes nine and 10, talk specifically about the accumulation phase and then as well as in retirement or the distribution phase. So you can listen to those for more information. Short answer, we love it for accumulation. We don't love it a lot for distributions. And here's why. Your tax plan is very important and it's going to be your biggest bill in retirement is your taxes that you're paying to your federal and state governments. Well, when you call the uh, TSP line and you say, hello, TSP, I'm John Mason. I need to take out 10,000. How much taxes do I owe on that? What are they going to say? Let me hear it. Consult your tax advisor. Then you're going to call your CPA, your tax advisor. What are they going to say? I don't know. Nobody's giving you advice. So thrift savings plan on these withdrawals, they're going to arbitrarily withhold 20% if the withdrawal is large enough, or they're going to um, take out taxes based on like a W-4 withholding election. Guess what? They also don't do state taxes on those withdrawals. So it's not a user-friendly vehicle. So for many of our clients, we do recommend either A, in-service transfers, or B, transfers at retirement. And we facilitate those distributions and help our clients empower them, educate them, motivate them to spend their money on ways they've always dreamed of. And guess what? We can give tax advice and we can specify exactly how much taxes we need for federal and state on those distributions. TSP simply can't do that. So tangent alert, I'm all over the place, but that's okay because now we want to talk about why you don't close TSP. So for many of our clients, what we'll do is we'll transfer, we'll use 800,000 as an example. Maybe we transfer 775,000 out to a traditional or Roth IRA. We facilitate distributions from that vehicle, but we leave thrift savings plan open with maybe 10 to $25,000. Why do we do that? For a variety of reasons. What if we decide or the client decides that this relationship, although it's been great for five or 10 years, maybe is not the best place anymore? Well, because we left thrift savings plan open, we can transfer that money that we're managing right back into TSP, as long as it's not a Roth IRA. So pre-tax money can go back, Roth can't. Why else would we do this? We're going to talk more about this specifically in North Carolina in the Bailey Act, but there are states that don't tax TSP withdrawals. So that is one reason why maybe you would want to leave TSP open and maybe uh, transfer some money back over time. Um, lastly, why else would we want to do this? Well, if you're retiring early, Maybe you're retiring under the new law enforcement provisions, or maybe you retired at 55 or 57 and you need to facilitate income before you're 59 and a half. Well, you could still hire somebody like Mason and Associates, transfer the bulk of your assets to an IRA with us, but then we can transfer money back to TSP every year because you have access to those withdrawals without a 10% penalty because you retired at 55 or older or under those new law enforcement provisions. Do not close TSP the second you retire because there are flexibility options we may want to utilize in the future. 
This is not saying there aren't benefits to transferring the funds out. This isn't saying don't hire a financial planner. It's just saying you may be working with an advisor who doesn't specialize with you, the federal employee like we do, and a common mistake would be closing TSP before no reason, or before you need to for no reason. Folks, this has been another episode of the Mason & Associates YouTube channel. If you like what you see, we encourage you to like this video, um, share it with your friends, hit the bell notification, subscribe. We're super excited that our community is continuing to grow. And we have other episodes coming out that are going to talk about the military survivor benefit open season. And let's face it, nobody is providing this type of information. In this community that we're creating at Mason & Associates, we want it to benefit as many federal employees across the country. You can do that. You can help us by sharing this video and spreading the word. We're Mason & Associates, masonllc.net.